Is it possible to use backdrops in water? Hey, it's Istinas from the Mego Studio and in this video I'm going to walk you through a shoot where I took my backdrop outside. I decided to do a photo shoot in the lake at sunrise. My idea was to get a little creative and bring the studio outside. The first step to every shoot is pre-planning. And the first thing I do when starting to plan a shoot is to come up with a concept. I knew I wanted to bring the studio outside to get an almost combined photo of the studio and on location. It's impossible to bring a lake in the studio, so it's easier to take a backdrop on location and use it for my idea. I painted this backdrop by myself and I never used it, so I thought this blue backdrop is perfect for my photoshoot idea in the water. I took a sea stand with a clamp and my backdrop into the lake. There was no strong wind so I didn't need heavy sandbags to further press down the stand in the water. The sea stand is quite heavy so I put it into the water and I attached my backdrop into the clamp. I put the backdrop in the water deeper so the wind wouldn't blow it. But if there had been a strong wind, it would not help. Before, if you want to try it, I would recommend attaching a wooden stick or to the bottom of the backdrop and attaching an additional weight so that the backdrop does not rise from the water. I was lucky, because there was no strong wind, so it was enough to put the backdrop in the water about 60 cm. I rolled the backdrop only about 1.4 m and submerged 0.6 meter in the water and the remaining 0.8 meter was enough for photography. This lake is very popular in summertime, so this is why I decided to make this photo shoot in the early morning at 6 am. I like the natural sunrise light in the morning and it's too early for people who come to sunbath and swim, except for a few athletes who decided to train in the morning. I made this photo shoot in the middle of summer, but in my country early mornings are quite cold. My model wears a hydra suit to keep from freezing and that's why I'm wearing a jacket. The photo session took about an hour, so it was very important that the model did not freeze. I asked the model to step back from the backdrop about 1.2 meters because I want the backdrop to be more blurred. This backdrop goes very well with the lake and reflects beautifully in the water. As the sun began to rise, the clouds appeared and softened the light for me. The sun in the clouds is almost in front of my model, so I got a very soft and even light. So now just looking at my model's face, we can see this light is nice and even. Everything just really soft and subtle because of this even light coming through the cloud. My setting right now, I am at 500 for my shutter, uh, 2 for, for my aperture and ISO 100. And you just want to make sure that you have got some really clean, nice portraits. When shooting outdoors and the sun is behind the clouds, Point the model space into the light and you will get an even, evenly and softly lit portrait. This way you will avoid dark circles around eyes and clearly visible wrinkles. In my case, the model has almost no wrinkles, but if you were to photograph an older model, then the even light of the face would be very important to get a beautiful portrait. So I'm looking at this image and I really like this shot. It shows the backdrop and the environment in which I am taking photos. When shooting outdoors with a backdrop, I like to blend the backdrop with the environment. This gives a more interesting and different look at the shot. It evokes different emotions for some. Some say you don't need the backdrop, the environment is beautiful anyway, others like it. What is fascinating about photography is that we can experiment as much as we want. 
and we create our own style, vision and implement our ideas, whatever we come up with. So don't be afraid to experiment and create. It doesn't necessarily appeal to everyone. I feel you are wondering what about the backdrop? Did anything happen to him when he got into the water and stayed there for an hour? I have drawn more than 300 different backdrops. So I have already worked through the whole process of creating quality backdrops that you can use in water, on the floor, or just normally. This backdrop dried and looked exactly as it did before it was placed into the water. Nothing happened to him. I have created online courses on how to paint backdrops. So if you are interested, you can find more information below in the description. I painted this backdrop in 1.5 hour and it cost me about $25 to paint. So if you want to have your own backdrop, I recommend joining the training to learn how to draw them yourself and unleash your creativity. You don't need to drawing experience uh, to draw your own backdrop. I have created a step-by-step -step process of how to paint yourself. I also decided to do a couple of portraits in the water without a background. I asked the model to lie on the ground. I got as close as possible. When the model's ears are underwater, it's hard to hear what I'm saying. So we agreed on a couple of signs on how to properly submerge the face under the water. There is almost no depth in this place, so it was convenient for the model to lie down. I took these shots with a 35mm f1.4 Sigma lens, so I could shoot more widely. It was already cold enough for the model, so we tried to get some quick shots, which I really liked. I hope that those tips were helpful for you and that you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section below or just feel free to say hi. I love reading through the comment section and hearing what you have to say or meeting you for the first time. So if you are new here, again, subscribe because I upload weekly videos and drop me a like if you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it. If you want to know my backdrop hanging system, watch this video on the top. I explained what I am using.